Hello, welcome to my how to wear black lipstick video. This is the look that I came up with. I feel like it's edgy, but it's still like a pretty makeup look. And I feel like it's totally wearable. So it's finally starting to cool down in my city. I live in Arizona and it's below 100 finally. So <laughs> it still feels very much like summertime, but it started to get me in the fall makeup um, spirit. So I decided to film a um, fall makeup look for you and this is what I came up with. It is a very easy to achieve look so I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let's show you how I did it. Today I'm starting off with the YSL Blur Primer and then I'm mixing my L'Oreal Infallible foundation with a little bit of MAC Luster Drops and with my foundation I always blend with a brush and then I blend it with a sponge. Now I'm going to color correct under my eyes using this LA Girl um, concealer <laughs> and then I am slightly highlighting with Custard uh, from NARS, uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer, so sorry. Now I'm just going to set it all with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I just let the excess kind of sit there, just kind of bake throughout the whole makeup process. Um, I just warmed up my cheeks a little bit, didn't really contour, just added a little bit of color and now I'm taking this taupey grayish brown color and filling in my eyebrows just a little bit. I always fill them in and then of course make sure to brush them up and back to break up any buildup of shadow on the eyebrow. Now I'm taking this Makeup Geek color and I'm placing that into the crease. I will have the name uh, listed down below. And I'm using my go-to brush for this. It is the 224 and then for under my eyes I use the 217. These are both by MAC. Um, I like the 217 because it's fluffy but it's a little bit more of a paddle shape. So next I'm taking the 224 again and now I'm concentrating this darker color again by Makeup Geek right in the very crease of my eyes. So the other one was the transition shade. When you do it that way it makes it so much easier to make your um, eyeshadows appear really blended and a lot more diffused. So I just really focus that on the outer corner and then gradually work it to the inner corner. I've really been liking this look where I kind of like hug the side of the nose right under the beginning of the brow. I have a lot of lid space so I really like to try to fill it up um, by doing that step. Next I'm taking my favorite liquid liner. This is the NYC liquid liner. I always get a little nervous with this but I feel that when I just dive right in and I don't hesitate that's when my eyeliner comes out the best and thankfully for this video it came out pretty even so as you can see just slowly kind of etching it along the eye and then I create like a little um, outline and then later I will go back in and fill it in. Like your reason for going back. Taking that darker shade that we put right in the very crease of our eye, I'm going to take a small detail brush and darken up the lower lash line just a little bit. For the waterline, I'm using my favorite nude liner. This is Rimmel's Nude 005. I'm just putting that on the waterline. It lasts all day long. And then I'm taking my favorite mascara, applying to the top and the bottom. I did add individuals. Now I'm taking this beautiful blush, I'll have the name down below, from the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette. And I'm just going to pop that right on the cheekbones, not too close to the apple, just kind of on the sides. And then I'm applying in my fashion. It's a really beautiful brown, gray, black. And then I'm lining it with cork lip liner. And that's it. The look is complete. <laughs> 